Now, welcome back to Prime Time Sports Monday. The ongoing impasse between the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, J3As, and the Jamaica Olympic Association, JOA, could hamper local athletics governing bodies' plans for the Olympic Games in Paris this summer. This according to the hierarchy of local track and field's governing body. And they were speaking at a press launch today. I have been to nine Olympics. It is a disgrace that you have to be fighting to get the required number of coaches, the required number of therapists and doctors to go with a, an Olympic team that is probably rated number two or three. An incensed Glenn Mills at the launch of the National Senior and Junior Athletics Championships on Monday. The nation's track and field athletes are currently in high gear in an attempt to make the team to the Paris Olympics. But in the background, controversy is brewing between the local parent body for athletics and the National Olympic Committee. Our objectives, success of track and field, is being undermined. And I say this to you. If an organization gets funding to say preparation of teams for the Olympics, I've heard those things said in media, in media outlets. Have we seen it, Mr. President? No. Honorary Treasurer of the J3A's Ludlow Watts says they have to date gotten no financial support from the JOA towards the staging of the pre-Olympics camp from June 12 to 24 in Stuttgart, Germany. Additionally, the associations are at loggerheads over the size of the J3A's technical support staff and management team. The J3A's has been allotted 14 spots for its management team, but want an increase to 17. But Watts says when they outlined the need for an increase, they were told, Allotment to your management team is 14, and advice to the J3A's should inform prospective professionals on, our, on this team that given the quota allotted, allotted by the local organizing committee, persons should be made to deliver services to athletes across events. Glenn Mills, who has served as technical leader in several previous Olympics, says he is at a loss as to why there is a disagreement over the size of the management team. The question is where the allotted numbers are, have gone. Because one diver through, I think, through the process of quota, is, makes up the, the, the team. So how can track and field be struggling to get 17 persons when the minimum, based on the requirement, should be about 21? Interference from government is frowned upon by global sporting associations. And when asked if she would intervene in the impasse, Sports Minister Olivia Grange was calculated in her response. As a patriotic Jamaican, I want to say to both the J3s and the JOA, in the interest of Jamaica and in the interest of our athletes, they should find a way to work it out. The J3s named a 14-member management team to the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo. According to Watts, there were 19 team officials at the Budapest World Championships last year and 18 at the Doha Championships in 2019. The World Athletics Championships does not fall under the control of the JOA. And of course, that pre-Olympics camp runs from July 12 to 24. In the meantime, the men's 400-meter final will be run on Friday's second day.